Let me give you a quick preview of what we'll end up with. I've got a Revit open on the side, and I'm interacting with Claude on the other. We'll create a wall here and make it red. Claude takes that command, relays it through MCP connection, and Revit immediately does it for me. Now, to make everything super simple for non-programmers, I put together a little tool called the Revit MCP installer.exe. If you're someone who just wants to try this out without messing around with Visual Studio uh, and compiling the code, this installer is going to handle placing add-in manifest and the DLL files in the correct Revit folder for you. If you prefer to do it all yourself, no worries. I will also provide the compiled DLL so you can drop it directly into Revit 2024 add-in directory, and I will provide a GitHub repository where you can just follow it yourself. So step number three is where things get tricky. If you're new to all this, once the add-in and DLL are in place, we need to configure Claude to recognize MCP server, and we'll be running uh, that will be running on our machine. It's not too complicated, but it does require editing a config file so that Claude knows exactly where our Revit MCP is living. Before we tackle that Claude config, let's do step four: grab that Revit MCP repository from GitHub. After downloading, I like to rename the folder. Uh, to, simplify, uh, to simply write MCP for clarity. Then move it under typical development path. For example, something like C users, your name, source, rep repos, and uh, the, the file, the, the folder that you're going to place is Revit MCP, Revit dash MCP. That way we keep everything organized and in our place, in one place. So moving to step five is when we're gonna use the command prompt. Uh, we're going to open the command prompt in uh, the Revit MCP folder. So what you have to do is copy the file, uh, the folder path and uh, just type in cd space and uh, the path into the command prompt. That will get you into the Revit MCP folder from command prompt and then you just have to type in npm install. Once it installs, you have to run the, the build. The first one installs all the dependencies and the second one builds the project. Once that's done, you'll see a build folder appear inside there. You'll find index.js. You'll need to reference that file path in your Claude config file. Don't forget to adjust the backslashes if you're on Windows. I assume you're on Windows. Now, step six. Close the Cloud app um, from the Task Manager. Don't just hit the X like I just did. Open the Task Manager and find your Cloud. I usually just type it in and uh, right click and end task. After that, you should open your Revit and head over to Add in tab. Let's just wait for Revit to open. I always load the uh, uh, the pop up just uh, that just came up. You should always load the, the plugin. Then go into your Add in and click on the Revit MCP plugin. And this is uh, an option to start the service, and it will start MCP service that's listening to Claude app. Switch on and then reopen Claude. This ensures both ends of our pipeline are awakened and ready to talk to each other. Now, with the service running and Claude open, you should see a little hammer icon or some indicator that it's reading from your local MCP server. You're ready for step 7, testing out commands, you can start chatting with your Revit model right away. Everything from uh, generating walls to modifying their parameters. Uh, so right now I'm creating a rectangular structure in Revit with sides of 8.37 meters. You can see I wrote the total floor area and the uh, wall height from level 0 to level 1. And the wall type is basic wall. Starting point is 0, 0, 0 and balls create in, uh, created in clockwise direction from the starting point, starting from x-axis. Mm -hmm. 
then I'm asking it to color the balls in red. And finally, I'm going to create a door in the middle of the selected wall, so I would have to select the wall first. Run the command, and it's going to create that door in the middle of the wall. So, hello, here you go, you can see the door. That's the gist. I hope you find this really helpful for your everyday Revit workflows. You can now leverage Claude's AI to handle repetitive tasks or make quick modifications to your model. Um, on that note, uh, Claude is not capable of doing uh, that many tasks. You would have to create scripts inside the Revit plugin uh, in C-sharp so that Claude understands what needs to do. But uh, right now, you saw in that little hammer icon what it can do. It's uh, it's a little misleading because it doesn't do everything, but if you provide a prompt uh, specific enough, it can actually do do all of them. So I was testing the floors and ceilings. I couldn't I couldn't uh, make it work, but the walls, the colors, the doors it was easy to create. So try it out. Uh, there are so many possibilities to explore the Red MCP. Uh, but this is a great place to start. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you troubleshoot. And if you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like, subscribing for more Civil 3D, Revit, Dynamo, AI tutorials in the AEC space. Uh, so, see you next time.